good morning student so most probably this will be your last class this month and after that you will be getting uh, 15 days of break right so <coughs> let's start today in this chapter we will uh, see about perspective in communication Pers meaning of perspective is point of view so our individual perspectives are the filter through which we communicate with other so everyone have their different point of view like uh, my point of view will be different and your point of view will be different so every individual on this planet art has a point of view their own unique style to express feelings through which they interpret and understand every communication all individuals have different perspective as everyone sees things differently and interpret message with respect to their understanding level of education belief and intention so uh, people having their own point of view depends upon their uh, level of educations their understanding their belief and their intentions uh, if a person who have a very low education his point of view of certain things will be different um, like in villages and all they have they have uh, superstition they are superstitious beliefs and uh, the same thing here it will be, uh, it will be uh, we have a different belief so uh, this educations belief culture environment everything affects our perspective that is our point of view now if we see what are the factors different type of factors that affects our perspective in communication first is visual perspective visual perspective means uh, visual perception in the ability to see and interpret analyze and give meaning to the visual information that surround surrounds us so whatever we see in our surrounding that surrounding also uh, affects our perspective so here you will see uh, you will get one example uh, what you see is the truth and that is what you believe so whatever you see you will believe that it is truth uh, look at these plates carefully so are these plates either turned over or right up so everyone will have uh, their different point of view they will see different uh, different image here someone will see that plates are, are turned over or someone will see that they are right way up uh, in comment section do let me know what you have seen that is uh, plates are turned over or it is right way up uh, however these are the plates that are not turned identify them and the moment you do so all the other plates will be turned close your eyes for a few seconds and look at the pictures again so you will see different thing when you close your eyes and again you see these plates you might have uh, seen uh, different visual similarly most of the visual perceptions are judgment you make it is what you think but this does not mean that either were wrong so it does not mean if you have seen these plates as turned over or you have seen these plates as right way up you are not wrong you are correct in both way it is what you see and develop an understanding on basis of your environment mental capability and position of the society so it depend, depends upon the environment mental capability and the position of the city wherever you are everything uh, that is every uh, everything that is surrounded by us effects on our visual perspective next is language perspective so language perspective when we communicate with your friends you may have observed that at times they interpret the words wrongly maybe you have you are trying to say something but your friend have interpreted in some other way they are taking out things in other way that it is known as the language perspective some words can have different meaning depending upon uh, depending on the way you interpret them how you are saying it depends upon uh, meaning what kind of meaning suppose you just say softly hello how are you that will have a uh, different effect than hello how are you that is also a very different uh, different meaning will come out from that tone so your tone also matters in perspective most of the times you have uh, you may think your in you your intended meaning may be clear but you cannot always be sure that the other person heard or read the same way you meant it to be so how you have said it it depends uh, in that way uh, maybe the meaning may not be clear uh, to your friend for example if you if you say your friend the shirt is not looking good this statement can be interpreted by your friend that he is not looking good 
okay if you say to your friend your shirt is not looking go good then he may think that maybe he is not looking good on the other hand you wanted him to change the shirt as it did not suit him so this interpretation uh, depends uh, depends upon his perspective or the language that you are using interpretation is an explanation of a view of a person place work things in communication it depends a lot upon the meaning that receiver understand or links the words with therefore the use jargons or abbreviation for the words that express the thoughts leaves to interpret the receiver sometimes we use some short words or abbreviate word those abbreviation words also uh, affects the language perspective next perspective due to past experience so many psychologists have spoken about the past <coughs> experiences can affect your life today how you experience your in your past <coughs> uh, years that will affect your uh, present so how you are feeling right now how <coughs> what is your personality and uh, it will affect your current behavior the experiences we are having today were likely shaped by the past events or which you have passed through events in your childhood or early adulthood have shaped the way you think act and interpret with the people close to you so how you are behaving with the people close to you it depends upon the experiences that you have in the past so let's see that uh, uh, you uh, you see your birthday is coming around and your friends are discussing something and they are not allowing you to listen what they are uh, talking so according to your past experience if you have uh, experienced these things earlier then you might think that they are discussing about your surprise birthday party and hence you are not part of it your friends are annoyed with you and they do not want you to be part of the discussion also it might be that they do not want you to be in their group and they do not want you to participate in that discussion so these are the two outcome that might happen okay so next is attitude that reflects perspective attitude is the evolution people make about objects ideas events or other point other people so attitude you can say it's a kind of behavior it's actually a behavior towards uh, object ideas or event or any other people it is a mindset that helps decide how individual perceives the message in a situation response accordingly how you uh, get a message in a particular situation and how you are responding it accordingly that is your attitude effective communication depends upon on one's ability to read the attitude of the other person or the group <clears throat> in a if you are in a group uh, of people or if there is a person with you so how he how he communicates with you or how you communicate with him depends upon his attitude if his attitude is not good you won't communicate with him properly and if if his uh, if his attitude is good if he behaves properly with you <coughs> then you know, your attitude towards him will be very good so this is understood by the behavior you see and will reflect the feeling towards the communication if you understand his behavior uh, how he is behaving with you the accordingly to it you will have uh, you will ha reflect your feelings toward that person being able to adapt your communication style will aid you in achieving your goal so whatever you have you have your goal to achieve that goal your communication will help you so there are th uh, four types of attitudes towards communication first is passive someone who tends to remain silent and go along with other people's views and opinion even if they disagree with them you will find this type of people who remain silent and they all they always agree with opinions of um, people even they even they disagree with them then you will get passive aggressive someone who uses a mixture of body language paraverbal uh, signals and sarcasm sarcasm to undermine honest communication people who uses this body languages like movement of hand or expression expressing their uh, by their eyes or by giving smile so that is pass um, passive aggressive people then aggressive someone who is not listening to or acknowledging anyone else in the in the exchange so aggressive people are those who do not listen what what is happening or they will not acknowledge to anyone else in the exchange and assertive are some people who is honest and open in their communication and allows other to express their 
view so these are type of these are the four types of people uh, which reflects their perspective means these, these are the four attitude that reflects the perspective in people next is prejudice influences perspective prejudice is irrational preconceived opinion that leads to preferential treatment to a person or group an unfavorable bias or on or hostility against others due to ignorance of fact the negative attitude such as hatred discrimination or intolerance for certain group of people sometime you will find it uh, find that there are certain people or group of people um, they their behavior towards that particular person is always um, predefined that is they always have a negative attitude like they hate that particular person they hate they discriminate in uh, that group or they discriminate a particular person so this is very dangerous and it has potential to bring animosity into the team and break team spirit suppose there is a group of uh, people they are, they are teammates or they are playing some sports and if they if uh, let let it be like cricket there are 11 players and 10 of the 10 players they don't have a, a very good bonding with the 11th player then what will happen it will break uh, break that their team spirit so the same thing happens in normal life when we when we uh, talk with a group of people somebody might like someone uh, may not like so this type of prejudice influences the perspective in that particular person so whenever you discriminate you may take decision or judgment for the person or group may be biased then overcoming prejudice wise listening when uh, when you are listening to someone respect the other person for his or her knowledge irrespectively of their family background so if you are talking to someone if that person is giving some opinion always respect that uh, his knowledge because it it is his uh, point of view according to his knowledge or according to his environment then take responsibility of your thoughts whatever thoughts comes to your come to your mind it should be uh, your totally your responsibility do not judge without listening while the other person is still speaking when someone is speaking let him complete it do not prejudge or do not interpret before that person complete then uh, belief reflects in perspective a belief is a acceptance or a trust of something that a person holds as being true it may be due to following factors so what are the factors of person's own experience or experiment the acceptance of cultural religious or societal norms what other people say so all these things will affect the belief of a particular person his culture faith educations what uh, what are his experiences what his mentors taught him so everything will affect his belief here you will see belief affect behavior in following a limiting belief affects the behavior of preventing people from taking certain actions that they would have otherwise if they have some belief that uh, let's say cat is crossing the road if he believes that it is uh, uh, means ba bad sign or bad luck then he would not he will not cross the road so it depends upon his belief you filter information based on your beliefs and only absorb the information that matches your belief system if you believe in ghosts then then what will happen in certain situation or maybe at night you might be scared to go out so it depends upon your belief this impact your behavior by making you biased this is the reason why uh, persuading someone to believe into something against his beliefs is hard so if you believe in ghost even i say if that ghost does not exist then it will be difficult for me to change your belief then point number three your belief shapes reality suppose you think that you will never find a job then you will not become motivated to prepare yourself for a job market and when on trying if you fail you will believe uh, your belief will become true if you believe that uh, that i cannot achieve so and so and even if you try and then again you fail then what will happen yeah you will think that yes i my belief was right i thought that i will not achieve this so if uh, your belief will become true that's how beliefs can shape reality so it always uh, always have a positive belief in your mind always 
try to bring positivity in your mind next belief reflex in perspective i already discussed this one then feelings feelings play a vital role in effective uh, affecting perspective in communication your behavior can be different on different day basis on how you f you are feeling so if you are feeling good today maybe you'll uh, you will be feeling good about this class if you are uh, not feeling good today then even this class you you won't find good uh, for example if you if you uh, had a great day uh, it means you you did not had a great day and your friend comes to invite to your party and you will what you will do you will shout at him so your feelings or your mood dip, uh, will ruin your friend's mood too but if you are having a very good day and he come and invite you for a party then what will happen you will uh, reply to that person in a very good mood so how we feel also uh, affects our perspective and at last environment your immediate surroundings or envi environment is like a container or context for the communication your behavior in school will be different when you are home it will be different and when you are with your friend it is different you will uh, automatically see when you are with your friends your behavior is different when you are with your parents your behavior is different when you are with your cousins then even then your behaviors are different so your environment your surrounding depends upon depends or it affects your behavior and thus it also affects your communications so i think it has become a very long video uh, let's stop here thank you and if you have any question you can ask else we will start uh, this question answers that is fill in the blanks true and false and multiple choice okay so if any doubt ask me thank you